The accident early Sunday morning involving Rodney Dobson and Salon 61 was a hot topic on PCOM earlier today. PCOM decided to clear up some of the questions raised in those topics. First, some good news from the salon owner, Rose Kelly. The name of the business is Salon 61. Okay. And definitely plan on opening tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock to serve our customers like we always have. And hopefully they'll just come on back and they won't be scared to come in. But um, the outside is going to look a little rough, but the inside will be fixed up. They will hardly not even notice that anything happened once they come inside. So. Okay, and you're? My name is Rose Kelly. Rose Kelly, and uh, how long have you been open here? I've been open here since March 1st, 2007. Okay, so you, this is almost new. I've only been here going on six months now, I guess. Five months, okay. somewhere around there. You got a bunch of customers? I have lots of customers who are so wonderful, loyal. They've all stopped by, those that have seen it, praying for me. I've got the whole community backing me, supporting me. It's, it's really great. Do you hold any hard feelings toward the fellow that uh, did this? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I hear he's a really good guy, and... I'd like to meet them and just, you know, let this all go behind us and start fresh and maybe I can get a free barbecue plate out of it. <laughs> we did talk to the only eyewitness in this who in fact is Mr. Dobson, owner of Rodney's Barbecue. Rodney said he was thankful that no one, and that included himself, was injured in the accident. He said he had been at a friend's home late into the morning planning for a benefit banquet and time got away from him. He left and he said that as he was coming down Braswell Mountain Road, where it intersects with Georgia 61, he simply fell asleep at the wheel. While the state trooper cited Dobson for DUI, Dobson said he personally did not feel that alcohol was a factor in the accident, rather that he simply dozed off. He did point out that the DUI charge was pending formal forensic tests. He said he was in no way falling down drunk, although that is what it sounded like some folks were saying on Peacock. He said he did not and would not shirk his responsibility for the accident. As far as thoughts that he may have run in the moments immediately after the accident, he explained that he was just rudely awakened by the impact and that triggered his instinctive flight response. He said when he realized what had happened, he stopped a hundred or so yards down the road and called for help. Notably, he was not cited for leaving the scene of an accident and he added that his truck, which was worse for the wear, was still drivable, but he knew he was responsible. A local officer also PMP com to say that there were absolutely nothing untoward about Dobson getting bail Sunday morning. Officer said bail on incidents like this are preset by the judge and posting bond is a formality. Still, as you can see, the damage to the salon was serious, and while Rose is promising they'll be open in the morning, we had to ask the guy who's actually doing it if that's even possible. Uh, so, so you really going to have this thing open? I'm talking to Dan Christie, who's uh, doing the renovation. Yeah, this is Dan Christie, and we will have this open tomorrow. We're going to work late tonight and get it all done. Super deal. This is what's left of an antique washing machine, probably from the 30s, irreplaceable. Used to be our water cooler. This belongs to, to be, somebody. This is, yeah, that used to be our water cooler. Magazines straight out. Man, I had a hundred magazines. I had so many magazines, it wasn't funny. For Pauline.com, G. Patton Hughes reporting.